hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa. Um, so recently I have um, started making this Dragonfly journal. I've seen probably a couple of videos of some items that I've made um, to go in here. Um, so I was gonna go through uh, recently to try to find some more stuff to go in there, do the pages, um, etc. Um, so I started going through my stuff and realized I've got, um, I've got some finished, um, uh, finished pockets in here and, and finished closures in here and some finished tags in here and I've got these um, slanted pockets and I've got these um, tabs and slides and I've got then my unfinished stuff, blank tags and blank cards um, and then I have the ubiquitous, oh my gosh this is heavy, um, folder full of stuff. A lot of it is um, um, pages, uh, blank pages, scraps, etc. But I've got a whole pocket of um, unfinished um, unfinished pockets and uh, belly bands and um, uh, snippet strips, um, etc. So I'm like, I really need to have one spot that I can put all of my um, uh, unfinished items or my finished items, like a to-do box or something like that. Um, so I just got one place to go for them. So um, instead of getting a box, I was looking around. Um, I found something new to me. It's not really new out in the world. Um, and it is, let me just get these few things out of the way because there's a lot. Um, it is a Rolodex book. There we go. Um, it's a Rolodex book that you can uh, slide um, stuff into. So I uh, went to the dollar store, uh, found this book. It was $27.99, I love the dollar store. Um, the reason I got it was because um, I love the color of red for the book. I won't be using the cover for it, um, for this. I'll get that to the side here. Um, so I was looking on YouTube videos and they say uh, three to 400 pages um, to do these um, projects and about nine by six. And this guy is uh, nine by six. Oh, good. <laughs> I never ruler with me um, when I went. So um, what I was thinking of doing was, um, and hopefully my crocodile, I was thinking about um, putting uh, holes in here with eyelets on the top and then on the bottom and then putting a ribbon through there so that it will stay partially open when it's done um, for that. Um, I was also thinking when I was gonna find a book to cover it with some paper, but I don't think I will. I think I'll leave this, uh, the red that I like for it. Uh, but basically, um, and I'm not gonna show you the whole thing because it's gonna take a while. Um, all you do is take the sheets of paper that are in here and fold them up into uh, the spine and crease them down. Now, I did see some videos where they did like maybe two couple pages at a time or one. Um, there's a couple different, uh, couple different ways to do this, supposedly. Um, I'm gonna try to start with oh, one and see how that goes. Um, do some pages and then After I do a few, go through and do a bone folder and then maybe get my one of my binder clips um, just to hold these open. Probably need a bigger one. Um, and just keep going from there. So try to do my best to keep them straight as I go. But after you're done, You have, and that one is just huge. I'll have to check that one. Oh, it's probably because of this blue part. Um, you have just an array of Rolodex folded pages that you can put stuff into. So, all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this video on warp speed while I fold these pages, so that um, you won't have to wait through my 400 pages. Um, 360 pages to see it done. So I will be back um, when I have them all folded and we'll see if I can do that um, hole punch for the ribbon. So hold on.
All right, I am back. Well, that was fun to do, let me tell you. Now, they are not all folded the same height. Uh, my goal was to do that, but um, oh well. The um, uh, beginning was a little harder. When I got to the middle, it was a little easier because there was some pull on it. And then when I got to the very end, it definitely was harder because there was so much to push um, to the side to get that to go. Um, but other than that, I don't think it took... I don't think it took more than an hour and I had some stops and starts in between I was working on some other stuff so um, it, it wasn't as bad as I thought um, I did put a band-aid on partly through I did not hurt my finger doing this but I had a slight cut on my hand, finger uh, from something else and it was getting aggravated so um, I did put a band-aid on halfway through um, for that but it was not book folding related so all right now, what I've done since then is I've also added these um, eyelets. My crocodile did bust through there, um, so that was awesome, and I did pre-string it. So I'm going to show you how I did the fourth one, just to show you that I was able to do it. Um, I did take the big hole, and to make them pretty much all sort of uniform, I did um, angle it um, from the corner when I snipped it. And get rid of that piece. And I am going to put the eyelets through the top so it looks prettiest on the side that I see toward the book pages so we're gonna turn our hand so we can do it and all right so that got in okay now I have pre strung I have this uh, red ribbon probably gonna have to cut it um, but what I did was um, I strung it through the uh, bottom so that it would be um, pulling you at both sides. And then I'm going to string it through the top and then uh, tie it through the back. So let's take care of that. Like I said, I'll probably cut this ribbon down after I pull it to see how much. But I didn't want to pre-cut it. This is a piece I had laying around. Now, I didn't want to pre-cut it until I realized how much I wanted to do. And all right, it's gonna flip it this way. All right, so if I do it, tie it in a bow. Like I said, I want to. If I want to let it go, if I want to let it go, that is the length. I really don't even have to tie that. It's kind of a waste of a ribbon, but. All right, let's just, let's just bow it as it is. We'll leave a big bow. And like I said, if I want to release it further, I have it more of an angle. I'll be able to do that. Tie a bow. And there we go. And I think it'll 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 sort itself out when I start adding some stuff in there. So I'm gonna add a few things and I'm probably gonna do the rest off camera because um it's gonna take me a while to do this, and then I'll show you the final result. So I think um, like I said, because they're um, facing upward, maybe I'll do these like facing upward like this. Do a few in here. So I see these, my washi tape angle pockets. here. I mean, I've got 380 pages to tuck in stuff in, so not like I'm lacking space to tuck things in, but I also don't want to just go and tuck it in every page in the beginning. Let's tuck a couple 
more down here. I guess I could do that, right? Do half of them. These really should go this way. So if I do half of the, um, if I do half the stuff on this side of the book this way, and then I do half of the stuff on this side of the book going this way, like my finished, finished tags here, I can do... And if I flip them all this way, I can put some more of the similar tags. Let's see, where's the rest of those? filling these and I have a feeling they're gonna fill up pretty fast here that I'm probably I was debating about buying two of these books <laughs> but uh, I only did one so I'm gonna start filling these up and um, I will come back and show you my fullness all right I am back and I have filled this bad boy up now it's not filled filled because you see there's still pages in here but um, I started filling it up with my unfinished tags and stuff and throwing my finished ones in here and it got way too big it couldn't close it it had to lay flat um, it kind of got insane so um, I decided to go back and just do it um, as my unfinished stuff um, so I've got um, tags that are unfinished and, and journal cards that are unfinished. Um, I have um, uh, folders that are unfinished. Um, I've got belly bands that are unfinished. Um, these side tuck things um, that are unfinished. Um, these six by six um, side tuck that one that I unfinished um, my washies that I um, haven't decorated so they're unfinished um, yeah so basically it's anything um, that can be added to stuff um, to go further so I can put it on the side here kind of ruffle through this side see what I got flip it over and um, rustle through this side and see what I got um, yeah, like I was a couple days ago, um, I was uh, making this, if you saw the video for this, and I um, was looking for um, this uh, tag uh, to go in here, a tall tag. I figured, oh, I have to make it, but um, I went through my stuff, and I got, uh, this one is the one, but um, I have some skinnier tags that definitely could uh, work in here. Um, like this, I think it's just a little too wide, so I could slice that down and have it work. So I had stuff in there that I kind of forgot I had um, in those boxes. So now when I'm thinking, oh, I need to get some sort of um, tag that needs to go in there, um, and I can find one that's already almost done, partially done in there, and uh, use that. So yeah, I'm quite excited about this. Um, so it's kind of hard to really see, do it justice for uh, what's involved in it. But um, yeah. So I'm not sure if I'm going to get a second uh, book for the finished ones um, or just leave the one here. Because um, it just definitely takes up some desk space. 
um, that the little plastic containers did not, but um, I think they're definitely more accessible. So hopefully I should be able to go through these more and um, actually use them instead of just uh, like doing a collage board and sticking them in a box and forgetting about them. Um, yeah, so I think it's a success. I call it a win. All right, well, that is going to be it for today's video. Um, so hopefully now I can go through and find some stuff to finish up my Dragonfly journal and um, get that moved on to its uh, final stages. So that is going to be it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video and got some inspiration to do something. And if you haven't, just uh, subscribe to my channel if you'd like to do that and see what's coming up in the future. That would be awesome. And if not, um, if you just like to like the video, that would be great too. I appreciate all of you and a wonderful and creative day. Thanks so much for stopping by. Bye-bye.